Hi, everybody. I am Matthew Miller, and this is a Fedora Council video meeting. Uh, as I say every time, the Fedora Council tries to conduct our business, um, you know, asynchronously on mailing lists, on our discussion forum, those kind of places, a chat. We have an awesome new uh, experiment coming up where we're going to be using uh, Matrix Element for our chat instead of IRC. So um, that's going to be cool. Um, but once a month, we try to have kind of a high bandwidth discussion. Uh, where we focus on some aspect of the project that is you know, interesting, going well, sometimes not going so well, uh, and figure out you know, what we can learn from that and what we can do to help. Um, so today we have Alex, Alberto, and Efren from Fedora Mexico, and they're going to talk about initiatives there, and hopefully, again, we can learn some things and figure out uh, how we can help. Um, so welcome, everybody. Thank you, Matt. Um, Hi. Hello. Um, as I understand it, there is a presentation with slides, and this time we've been asked for uh, to do questions till the end. So I'm happy to uh, absorb the presentation, and I'm sure we'll all have lots of questions. So take it away. Okay. Let me. Thank you, Matt. Share my screen. screen. Can you see my screen now? Yep. Perfect. Yes. Awesome. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Alberto. He's Alex and a friend. We are from Mexico. Um, at this time, we will talk about the Mexican Federal community, uh, how we rebuild the local community from, uh, well, in our, our story about how we are building this community in Mexico. So, will we start with the next uh, slide, please, Alex? Okay, this is an image image from the or, or one of our release parties. Uh, are most people in the Red Hat Mexico? Uh, um, office. Uh, e, what we had here, uh, we are focused on only many things in the negatives, but we had a lot of, of stories from from the our community. By example, at, we had a friend. A friend was on one of the of the most uh, famous ambassadors in Mexico. He's always in the best events from open source. So he started from many years ago and is used from two years uh since two years ago when we we are building this community. Even if more or, or us are doing a lot of work uh, alone. But we are now a team from ambassadors, uh, advocates, packagers, translators, and Fedora fans, uh, users, uh, all together in our community. Next slide, please, Alex. So, who do we do it? Let's. Okay, we had a lot of communities pro in Mexico, you know, a Docker, Python, Ruse, uh, OpenStack, uh, a lot of communities are uh, from the all the plus uh, open source uh, um, uh, communities, and we say, hey, what happened with Fedora? We need a Fedora community here. So, what about those? We need to create a community first. We are a lot of, 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 of people, but working alone. Now we create a, some, some channels of communication first. The Telegram group is, is a strong group. Uh, we invite 
uh, local experts of great quality. Uh, we organize uh, meetings uh, every month. And of course, we are a healthy community. We respect each other. So it's part of how we are doing this, these events. Um, the second was the method growth. Uh, method was uh, the the foul standard for communities in many sites. Uh, we can find uh, uh, Linux user groups uh, and other communities and other technologies groups. So uh, we start with the method and with the meetings. We agree that do it monthly and the the presentations are selected by consensus. So this make, make us uh, feel part of the community and take decisions uh, about the presentations. Next. Um, it's different. Hi. Um, my name is Efren. Uh, I have a ambassador for Federal Project. I, um, find the best speaks on the tips of the general interest. We have to take care to present the best speak with the most current topics, TEP, KDM, and Topman, for example, in, in addition to offering guidance of how to participate in the project and how to maintain the package. Step three, participation in the community events. Our next step, What's the celebrate of the local events, release party, and Federal Women's Day? In addition to participating in national community events, such as the FLISOL free free software installation festivals and first national community community summits. For example, uh, cause in Guadalajara. <laughs> okay. Uh, we organized our second Federal Government's Day with the participation of many very talented girls, including the international participation of the Tatika from Venezuela and Susie from Guadalajara. And even when we are very proud and of and have to replicate again when possible. We have worked very hard very hard to have this, but we still have work to do. Hi, I'm Alex. And so, how can we do it better? Yeah, uh, we try to build the inter-community bridges as a community. Of course, we know that we are immersed in a more complex ecosystem, and we need to start to interact with another project like, like Pilates. It's a community from uh, of women, the, the Python developers, and Rust in Mexico, uh, with all uh, participation from uh, some developers of Rust, and of course, a local universities. We want to do some events in all university as possible and take these uh, workshops to the to the all the people that I, that I we can uh, 
maybe improve Takenshi skills in our community. Uh, we start uh, with uh, some uh, presentation or workshop about how we can do uh, maintain a package maintainer and something like that. But we need uh, maybe implement a, an adoption of package program. Uh, we have a, an idea that uh, do some program about the uh, uh, increase the maintaining of the package with all with all community members and well we are looking for like impact uh, this package uh, we are looking for help wanted activities and make it uh, in an event maybe a qa test days or translation sprints to have involved all community in this event and increase the participation of in the project directly and well, we don't know if uh, the right formula to convert a Fedora user to a Fedora contributor, but we are researching it as, as my partner and friend, a friend says, we do a hard work, but uh, we still need to do much more. And that's, that's our presentation. I don't know if you have some uh, questions or comments? Thank you. That That's great. Um, I particularly like the screen full of all the different, uh, I guess, YouTube things and events. Uh, that's an impressive array of things. So that's that's awesome to see. Um, I, I have a quick question just kind of going backwards. Uh, the test day thing you just mentioned, um, would that be participating in existing test days or are you thinking of setting up like local area focused, like Mexico um, group test days, which would also be fine. What um, what kind of thing are you looking for there? Yeah, uh, maybe we have an, an event that we do some test, uh, some test day in, in one day, in one location. What, when pandemic uh, allows? Right, but yeah. yeah that... <laughs> or, or planning hits, uh, maybe do some, workshop on universities, something like that. Uh, we start with a, a workshop about uh, maintain package, you know, how the RPMs are building, and how you can uh, be a maintainer of a package. And uh, maybe in, in this uh, same format, we can do the same in, in the universities to, I don't know, maybe enable some, some guys students to, to do the same and participating and I don't know they 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 like these activities. Alberto, you uh, raised your hand okay. in the blue team. Uh, we also have uh, an insider in the QA team is uh, Sumatra. He, he passed us the date of the next uh, QA uh, Day, days, test days, and and at this moment we are looking for make events the same. It's the same date of the test day to make tests for the global community and running it in a local with the local people, so we can get more people for a more use case from a lot of people from the community and help the QA team from the test day in, uh, in general. Okay, so it sounds like you already have that connection. So I don't, I don't, I don't need to make a to do item to to do that. So um, that's good to hear. Um, I guess my other question was actually kind of touched on here. Um, the pandemic. How are you keeping things going? And it seems like a lot of this is focused on local meetups, which is which is awesome because those personal connections are good. How are you keeping this going through, you know, lockdowns and quarantines and everything else? Yes, since uh, maybe March or May, I think, uh, when uh, was what was last March? Week? I think March. Yeah, uh, maybe from April or. Uh, something like that. Uh, we partnered with uh, some friends uh, that work in in a magazine, uh, Software Guru. You know, uh, this magazine uh, improved the the streaming here in Mexico, and they help us to to streaming to 
yeah from uh, from his channel to all the world you know in youtube uh, twitch and facebook um they record or or meeting or well, virtual meeting and then we have a uh, some uh, repository it's just a a couple of links where you can see all the the meetings and they record and give us the link and we put in this repository to be able to all the all the community yeah even today we have a our last uh, virtual meeting of the year we have a, a christmas meeting uh, talking about the same article in the federal magazine about lvm so it it was uh, very helpful this to partner with this uh, magazine the Sobre Guru, we are appreciate uh, a lot his his help. Of course, uh, the key of of all making uh, the meetings in the pandemics in this pandemic pandemic time was the communication from inside of our Telegram group from the uh, you know, the meetup for publishing our events and this uh, magazine Software Guru. Help us with the streaming, making it available for everyone, and also publish it with professional uh, editing and a lot of things about like that. Uh, this is helping use for maintaining the interest in the group and also communicate all the questions, all, all the the, the ideas from the group and maintain the community rolling out uh, no matter the pandemic or no is is here what, so what was what is the name of this magazine because i'm going to type it in the chat so i can see it written software guru okay it's a local magazine he has the events from all the flows communities in mexico and also Promoting a lot of the open source um, and free software in Mexico uh, and Latin America. That that sounds awesome. It sounds like they deserve some special thanks from us for that. So that's cool. Yeah, uh, and even of that, uh, that uh, allow us for uh, to have some international guests like my best friend uh, Edward Lucerna that is present here. Hi. <laughs> and uh, uh, some other people that uh, if we don't uh, use this this help uh, i don't know how we can do that uh, a friend uh, told about in the fedora women's day we have participants from tatica from venezuela and a very talented gear in, in ea uh, susie from germany and that's that's what's awesome from the students yeah in the federal women's day I, I think we have a hit, a very hit. It's a, we are very proud about this this event. As you should be. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I've got lots more questions, but I want to give room for somebody else to ask some. Don't all speak at once, though. <laughs> Hi, Matt, Matthew. You got you got my first question about COVID, but I just had um. I had a question. Just um, what advice would you give to other local organizers who want to start or restart a community in another country or another local community? Okay, I think the key of the success of the uh, the actual success of the community in Mexico was we are working together. We are a team. We are no more working alone. Uh, some time, some time ago, a friend, by example, make a lot of um, a lot of events alone, and that events don't have the impact that we have now. Building this, rebuilding this community from a team of contributors from the project, and we are trying to uh, make the people feel part of the Fedora project not only the Fedora uh, Mexica community, you know, or, or maybe be part of the Fedora, the Fedora project 
in general, the global project is is, is part. Of work, don't work alone. Work on team with another contributors of your country, and make the people feel part of the Fedora project. Be part of of, of something something more than the local community. Work in the community, but but point to contribute to contribute in the Fedora project in general. Yeah, a friend, Mr. Kraken, as we know it here, is a very famous people in the community in Mexico. The, all the, the famous people in Mexico about the, the IT, they know him and know his work. And so it's just a, a come on and bring together all the... Sí, vamos a hacer a ser un Mark Zuckerberg de la vida para ayudar a la gente. Pues lógicamente no. Podemos ayudar ya a muchas personas. De hecho, lo hacemos con el Club de 05, por ejemplo, y con más personas no, y tú puedes ayudar a la gente a recorrer. Uh, okay, thank you. I, I muted them. Sorry. I, I don't know what they were saying there because I do not speak Spanish. I kind of Spanish. picked up bits and pieces of that, but I was very confused what it had to do with this. If, yeah, if that needs to be censored from the video, let me know. Uh, yeah, I think he's watching TV or something like that, but. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Uh, a friend is very famous here in Mexico, and it's just easy to say, hey, come on, uh, come with me and do a group, and this effort be bring together and make a team. And we see in the in the slides, in the presentation, uh, we take uh, some basic steps. First step, come uh, come together. All the famous people like uh, that like Fedora, uh, join us. and. And then we start to the meetings, and then we create uh, some events. And there is, we are still working on that. We we know that uh, we need to do more participation, not just for the community, not just for the shared knowledge, uh, even do a contribution, contribute more to the project. This that's the our goal that the the Fedora user in Mexico uh, be a contributor in the in the Fedora project. So I, I guess I hear three things overall to it. work work as a team uh, to make feel people feel like they're part of the project and like part of Fedora and part of the team and then find some celebrities if you can. Uh, yeah. the, the last one might be hard. Um, I wonder what uh, what things we can do as Fedora overall and Fedora Council to make people feel like they're more part of the project. Are there things we could do better or do differently that would help that more? I don't think so. I I I, I think uh, you are you do a great great and excellent job in the in the but, past events the the Nest and the release parties have some. Uh, we know that we have some uh, celebrities in the world and uh, we know that uh, they use Fedora as you know even Linus Torvald says I'm use Fedora so yeah. maybe uh, here in Mexico we are uh, so proud to to say I'm touched with that guy I know it maybe by email you know but we we know it yesterday uh, a friend uh, participate in a in a local uh, streaming that is very important here in Mexico, and they have uh, the one of the creators of Genome Project uh, that uh, who is Mexican, you know, uh, Genome Project was created by Miguel de Casa and uh, Federico Mena, and they uh, and yesterday they have us invite invite in in the in this streaming, and that was awesome. All people in Mexico about the uh, community of IT is watching this 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 streaming. It's awesome, yeah. and 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 these guys uh, talk about Red Hat and talk about Fedora and talk about all world or, or projects and and very it's very interesting. Maybe uh, you uh, you know we have some celebrities here in Fedora project, and I like and I love so much. Uh, have in touch with them, you know, maybe uh, 
of you are these people and another I, I don't know I, I'm I'm very fan of, of Dan Walsh you know uh, yes <laughs> and and I like so much having touch with with them yeah. awesome I I will make sure Dan sees this uh, Marie you had raised your hand yeah uh, you guys mentioned both and the release parties. So, you know, those were obviously global events. Um, what do you guys feel about creating a LATAM specific conference using Hopin? Um, is that something you would be interested in doing? Is, something, is that a way we could help um, like foster the local community there? Because I can coordinate that with you guys. And the Mindshare Committee can support it as well. Yeah, very thanks. We are uh, very happy to participate in a lot of events like Federal Women's Day, release parties, uh, the NEST. Uh, we are very proud to talk about the community, about our work in a lot of places, and also to learn from other people from other parts of the world uh, in, th in that kind of events. We are very happy and always we treat we we want to participate in every event from the federal project the global federal project because we are uh, looking make or or uh, uh, fellows be part of the project feel part of the of the project and also we are very happy with with the help from the Minshare Committee, because we have Slack, we have uh, uh, the possibility to make the meetups. They are helping a, a lot from, we are get a lot of help from the Minshare and the project, the federal project in general. Would it be cool. interesting so, to have, have a, oh, go ahead. Oh, so I was gonna say, like, cool, would it be, interesting to have like would it be good to have like something specific to Mexico or Latin America and then like you know like Matt you can come and speak specifically to to, to that community and I can come and talk about community stuff and you know we could have some of these people that you might want to get like a, a, a better connection with or learn from we can invite more people as well but I think it would be something that would help foster the local community to grow or to even just stay, sustain and, and stay healthy. Like during this time, I guess I'm trying to say we have even more to give you, <laughs> to use, right. to make it awesome. So of course we want you to participate in everything we're doing, but we also want to give you the option to create your own thing. Thinking, Think of something like, you know, FUDCONs that used to exist. I think that would be like an example, right, of what, what I'm kind of yeah. thinking about. Yeah. But like and virtual, po possibly something with a, with uh, maybe primarily Spanish speaking. Um, I am limited in that, but I could I, I would be happy to do a talk maybe with the real time translator, for example, and have my slides, you know, two languages, and then have somebody repeating repeating after me in Spanish. If that would help, uh, I know I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, yeah the, all the, of you here speak English awesome. wonderfully, so that that is easy. But I'm I'm sure that's not the case for everybody who could be in Fedora. Yeah, that's a, lo a lovely idea. We we in the in the past we talked with some guys in in the Fedora Latam group to do the same. The maybe a, a food con or maybe a a, meet, a virtual meeting with all the Latin American guys that we are very talented people like uh, my friend Edward or Tatika or Luis, Luis Bassan, Luis Bassan. You know, or, or all the Brazilian guys. Uh, we, we plan in that even if, if in this, in, in these days we, we planning, oh, if we can do in Mexico, it's good idea. Or maybe more in Latin America, you know, maybe a middle middle country that I don't know. A, that was an idea to to be the former foodcon and now in, in virtual 
in virtual stage and we love that that idea i think it's it's because first uh, here in mexico you know uh, we do some logo with the with the monument representative from mexico city and we say we are fedora mexico not not just only uh, mexico city you know we have a lot of states here in mexico and we say we are fedora mexico not just for mexico city and we want to bring together all the states and all the people in the north in the south of the of country but beyond of that uh, we like to do the same thing in latin america you know we have uh, maybe in touch with the brazilian guys with the brazilian teams with edward with tatica with luis with all these incredible people and and we like to to do the same effort in in in, in cross uh, latin america and that kind of events i think is maybe do an statement that we are here we are together and we are a big team strong you know i like so much that idea cool. Uh, Edward, you had your hand up? Yeah, uh, well, uh, in first place, I want to congratulate all the Mexican team. I remember like uh, maybe two years, two years and a half ago, Mr. Kraken write to me by Telegram, hey, I have this little Telegram group of Mexican. You can help me mod in that, like you're moving the, the international group. I say, yeah, I can help. There are like five to ten members, maybe something like that. I said, yes, I can help. I was helping like two weeks and I totally disconnected for a while. When I went back, they have a whole structure, method meetings, a whole team admin the, the group. And I said, hey, they grow very fast and very strong. It was very impressive and, and I'm very proud of the Mexican community that having able to pull this community off, this local community is, is, is very strong. And I think it's a, it's a very great example to all the Latin community too to show how they can do a, a strong community, a, lo a strong local community. And I was thinking a little bit of what uh, Marie was saying about having kind of a, a Latin America event globally in hopping. Um, even when I really agreed about that, I think uh, it should be great for you to start with a a Mexican event uh, sponsored by the Fedora project in Hopping. What I mean is that uh, as, as, uh, I think that a part that is really important for this community growth was to be to felt part of the community, the fair part of the project, not only the local community, but part of the global project. And I think that having a local event, but sponsored by the whole project to be uh, a great step for them, no, you know? And my question now is uh, for the Mexican guys uh, is how are you working in the project now that the ambassadors is kind of uh, sparse in time and place and we have a, an effort uh, led by Marie and the Mindshare community to revamp the whole ambassador community? Okay, bye. We are very, um, we had a, a more or less a five or seven ambassadors active. Uh, mostly are here in the community, this is good. Um, we are working together. The Telegram group helps us, help us for make the communication easy. Uh, to organize events in every part of Mexico, we call need to meet the people face to face and coordinate all the work. Uh, the revamp really make us uh, a thing, a thing uh, a lot uh, about who we are doing our work and if we can help to revamp part uh, the revamp initiative to uh, you know uh, as a, as example of who we what we need to do the ambassadors now for the world project 
we are thinking an ambassador need to create local communities. Uh, an advocate can do uh, events in, in every part of the country, the local communities, but at part of the team. So ambassadors need to foster uh, new communities or local communities. Uh, and help. I think it's the new, the new, uh, the new best word for the ambassadors: make local communities grow healthy and support contributors to the world project. Is is our vision of the what una, an ambassador need to do? E I think this is part of the revamp. Uh, who are on, under the umbrella of the come-ups looking for, you know, a make together, uh, join together all the, the efforts to, or me, to get new contributors to, so uh, I think the revamp helps us, uh, the music and community, we are not affected because we are mostly active in all the aspects, and we are very happy because we have a contributors like packagers, like translators, that help us to see another parts of the of the project, not only the ambassador part part of the the work, the community works, also the technical works. So we have a a variety of the of contributors in our community. This is, this is important because, uh, you know, the advocate is a Fedora contributor in a, in 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 any part of the project and want to make a event, make to to make a talk about the Fedora project. Those is, this is great for us. Um, make a and, and the commun Mexican community is looking uh, the results of the revamp. We are thinking is the the right uh, path uh, because it's a, a reflect of the work we are doing in our community. Cool. And Neil, you had your hand up as well. Yeah. Uh... Give me a second if I remember my question now. Oh yeah, uh, it's been it's been a long seventy two hours. <laughs> um, but uh, so something that uh, occurred to me while we were talking about events and and things about bringing people together and then talking about you know idols and 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 celebrities and all this sort of thing. I don't, and this might be my ignorance because I'm not too plugged into the Spanish speaking community. I, I used to know a little bit of Spanish. I'm not very good at it anymore right now, but you know, um, where are the Spanish speaking podcasts and, 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 um, uh, and, and YouTubers and all those people who tend to do, you know, talk about Linux and technology and that sort of thing, you know, are those, uh, have we talked about maybe having some kind of broader strategy of engaging with those to broaden the reach of Fedora with the Spanish speaking community? Of course, in Latin America, but also the broader, you know, I, I, I think it's a fair question to say like the broader Spanish speaking world, because like I tend to jump in like in English speaking podcasts and, and YouTube shows and stuff like that every once in a while as a guest. Uh, but like, I personally am unaware of any such situation where we're doing this for Spanish speaking ones. And I'm, this also goes to all the lang other for other non-English language um, technology consumption news stuff. I don't actually have a word for what you, media, technology media. There we go, I have a word. <laughs> it <laughs> turns out to be a word for that. <laughs> yeah, it's been a very long couple of days. Um, awesome. But yeah, so like that's the sort of thing that it's like, I haven't really heard too much about this. And it feels like this is one of those avenues where we tend to get a lot of understated breath and mindshare and 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 reputation uh, gains across the board 
um, when when we have engagement in those particular areas. So is there anything that sort of thing that the project can help with, or at least maybe there's some kind of thing that we can do to to help support that kind of thing, or even maybe even start a Spanish speaking podcast or something. I don't know. Like, what do? Yeah, it's it's very curious because uh, here in Mexico we don't have the maybe all the impact about the podcast. You say here in Mexico we are more maybe graphical or you know if you have a Twitter account for example and you post some code or some GitHub repository or something like that you have some uh, gain some famous or be in the middle of the the IT community guys you know uh, in the in the meetups uh, all the this uh, these talks and this presentation was about uh, te technical things how you how you can do that how do you be the best programmer or or, or best coding uh, i don't know it's very curious because uh, here in Mexico, the maybe the thing that is very important is shared knowledge. You know, uh, maybe not just for for talk. It's okay. You have a you are a, a Linux guru. Show me, like uh, like Linux says. You know, uh, here in Mexico we have some uh, quotes about that, and uh, in, they say uh, and sorry uh, about this quote this translation but we say uh, fuck nudes send me your code sorry sorry about that <laughs> but this is you know this is the the, the one of the famous quotes of, of, of linux torvalds you can say all that you want but show me your code yeah, and that was maybe the 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 thoughts here in Mexico. You are uh, something in IT, show me your code, and show me your your job. And and uh, so the people who who have some famous like or Mr. Kraken here in Mexico, they have a, a lot of histories in in Twitter about how he go to the food con at Nicaragua by right, you know, he 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 puts in the in the highway and say, Oh, come on, I'm go to the to the Nicaragua about five or ten thousand miles to Mexico City and go just with his backpack and he go to the food con in Nicaragua and take pictures and say and, the, and he says, I do it, I can do it. And if I can do it, all we can do it. Uh, one, thing, one thing I want to highlight there is that uh, what we're saying, show me the code, doesn't necessarily literally mean programming code, right? In that in that story, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it was driving five thousand miles and taking photographs. Like that's show me the code as well, right? So it's of not course. just programming. There's lots of other ways yeah, to yeah, yeah. It, you know yeah. show your so receipts as talk, um, my kids walk say, walk. right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, and and that's why uh, Mr. Kraken is our hero or personal hero because he made these things alone by himself and i don't know we are proud of happy in this group and we always uh, follow his his he, i don't know uh, he's a he's a great person i think and cool and uh, maybe to to continue a little bit with, with a question that that Neil does. Uh, in Spanish, it's hard to follow in the in the technology side because find, uh, at the end you uh, you end up in a English speaking podcast or show or YouTube channel. Uh, there are some maybe little niche that have some reputation, but at the end you are uh, you are going to going to end in destination Linux or in Linux Unplugged or or in something in English at the end, you can start like a little bit, but it, there is no, it is hard to follow something specific in Spanish. At the end, they are going to, you are going to end in the in the English speaking shows, and in terms of media at least. 
So it sounds like maybe there's opportunity there as well. If there's energy to match the opportunity. Yeah, for sure. We 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 saw last night with this uh, talk with uh, Federico Mena. They talk about how genome starts and everything, and they have many 100 or 200 people at the same time in the streaming. It's a Kraken. I think, yeah, maybe 100 or 200. For, for, is the, for four hours. For four hours. The, wow. The, yeah, the, the, one, the one cup and two cup, um, three hours. Yeah, yeah was, was three hours. Um, I don't know how many views have. Um, but a lot. But yeah, current, okay. uh, cur current, be concurrent viewers like two hundred or one hundred, two hundred. It's yeah, I'm always impressive. Okay, um, Marie and I have a meeting with some lawyers about the Fedora logo progress soon coming up, so we need to we need to wrap this up. But I do have some. Yeah, Neil, Neil don't face palm too hard. Uh, uh, but I, I have a couple things to, to add, which are that, uh, so we do have some money in the Fedora budget to help support you. So don't be afraid to help to make requests. I mean, we can't do everything, but like if there are things that you know, do that, like help people feel like part of Fedora, like swag is obviously an easy thing. I see your awesome Fedora ambassador shirts. Like if we need more stuff like that, let's, let's talk about it. Um, and then also um, Marie hooked us up with some pretty awesome team building things earlier this year where we did some fun events as part of you know, the Nest stuff and just for the Fedora Council and things. Um, if there are like team building activities that would be helpful for your group, um, I am totally in favor of those kind of things, even if they cost a little bit of money to do some sort of like some kind of fun online um, event, just, just, you know, for, for the core group of people or for a bigger group of people to try and just make it feel, you know, like a, like a team and friends where we're totally down to provide those kind of things. You don't need to think of them right now, but um, feel free to ask us more about that. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Um, does anybody else have some last comments here? Oh, go ahead, Justin. I just wanted, I just wanted, yeah, I just had a, maybe a closing question to ask to each of you. Um, what's something for the Fedora Mexico community that you are excited for, for 2021? Vaccines. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it didn't hijack. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> sounds <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, we we miss a lot uh, be together, you know. It's a yeah. very chemical maybe reaction we that we are together and you see in the pictures or uh, Fedora 30 uh, release party was incredible with uh, pizza and cupcakes and a that lot of things right. and yeah, the the it's that was magic. Yeah, for sure. We miss that, and we hope uh, very soon as possible we have uh, back again these meetings. Yeah, yeah, in-person meetings will be great. Uh, also had uh, events in in another parts of Mexico. Invite new new look for new speakers in another part in another parts of Latin America, España, or another parts of the world. We can do some effort for translation, more or less. But uh, and also we can we will 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 be great. Uh, uh, make some uh, export some speakers for Fedora project uh, events, like I don't know uh, Rollman or some like. Like that, or show show uh, to the world the keynote tasks we have in the Mexican community, and uh, because I think by example we can look uh, local uh, similarities and 
maybe grown and other communities from, I don't know, uh, Spain or Germany and another parts of the world can benefit from our experience. Absolutely, absolutely. But they do have a great talent in the Kubernetes part. I was seeing the talk they had do about Kubernetes and it was very, very awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have a very talented people that uh, we like to show to the world. They are Mexican too. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So. That that local pride is cool as well. Yeah. Um, all right, this was really interesting. I'm I'm glad we did this. Uh, thanks for sharing with us. And I think there is a lot of people can learn from this, and it was very inspiring. And like I said, anything you need for help, uh, we're, we're here for you. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you very much. And we'll get this online for everybody else to see as soon as possible. Bye everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.